Yeah! Score! All right, everyone. The day of reckoning. The knee is feeling amazing. I'm not racing the Houston Marathon today when you're watching this, sadly, but it means that I have found good health through this rehab process. So, to the point where, yeah, I could play a little b ball outside the school. All right, come on, guys. Oh, oh. My life got flipped, turned upside down, and I like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Air, 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 air. I'll tell you how I became the, how I became the air. Air, 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 air. Talk this way. In West Philadelphia. Oh, score. Okay. All right, good game, guys. Okay, Joseph, take your, you can take your coat off. Okay, everyone, b-ball game outside the school is over. Again, there's no way I could have done this two weeks ago. I would have been way too painful, right, Joseph? My knee, but it's feeling better. Why? Optimism, taking, doing the little things. In fact, I'm off to the gym here in, in a minute, and uh, it's just, it's uh, bittersweet. Cheering on Kofuzi and everyone else down there in Houston, but it's bitter, bittersweet not being there. But at the same time, it's like now I don't have to deal with who knows weeks and weeks, months and months of serious, ridiculous uh, pain in my knee. So overall, I'm excited. All right, let's go. Come on. So I uh, forgot to unload the car last night. We're starting to buy. Rebuy. So what we do when we uh, have a new child is we buy stuff secondhand, pinching pennies, right? Off of uh, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist like this, and then we just resell it. And so, shh, sometimes we actually make a profit. So uh, here's the uh, here's little, here's the baby day, the baby day, little update on the baby. The baby is by right around the corner. We're talking three to four weeks. So we are in uh, preparation mode. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Ooh, a little chilly. I was telling the YouTube family about the bassinet oh, and yes. about how we are getting ready. Oh my gosh. What else? Netflix. And how sometimes we make a profit. Listen, we make a profit. If you, are, if you are spending money on baby gear, you're losing. You're losing. You, you need to be making at least $50. <laughs> right? We buy everything we need from Facebook uh, Marketplace. You negotiate, then you sell it when you're done, and you turn a profit. And it's not going to be a lot, but like. And what is this thing? This is a mama roo. Boom. And I've had Look out, Seth. Sorry, buddy. Excuse me. Oh, boom. It, hey guys, it rocks the baby. This is the best brand. Mom, we love it. Guess what? I, what? I have two baby toys. What do you do? Oh, Sethi. The baby's gonna love that. Winning. Winning. Okay, let's put it out the window here. And this could doesn't have to sit on top yeah, of it. Okay, put it on that other side. If you think that would. Are you getting tired? Do you care if this is open your front? Oh, no. Tea time, Michael, tea time. <laughs> Do you see us? Are we jumping, Michael? <laughs> Boom! What'd you guys build? Um, a dinosaur cage. A dinosaur cage. Whoa! 
A dinosaur jail. And this side is the bad, is, is a ninja. Oh. Wow. And this here I'm guy shooting this thing down. Boom! Get it! Ready? Here it comes. <laughs> Crash! This guy? Wanna go play? Here, let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, and this. And that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got me. I, I think the knee is good, ladies and gentlemen. I think the knee is good. This is getting exciting. If I can rough and tumble with Michael, I can hang with the best of them. Right, buddy? Here, Michael, watch. Ready? <laughs> Someone's following me. Yeah. Oh, stretch time, stretch. What, what early? Uh, nah, because then they can unload it and then reload. Huh, it's all about staying a step ahead. Left overnight. Yeah, yeah. Huh, and left overnight, sometimes the best night. What's the best night? What would say that last part again, though? Divine and true love. Aww. Left overnights. Aww. You can't forget about left overnights. Don't rule that right? out. Build it in. One Bail, day a week. Build it in. You think there will be enough for everyone? Is there, there is. There always is. Always is. Yeah. Mine isn't here because it's cooking still. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> mm. Good job, guys, holding down that side of the table. Yeah, that's the good side. Boom. Side. I like it. I like that. Me too. Oh. Oh, yay. Butter my bread. Onward and upward. Out to the studio. Staying positive. Staying positive. Where am I right now? I'm in the studio in Denver, Colorado. Where am I not? I'm not in Houston, Texas. It's a little bittersweet. You know, I'm just being very transparent with all of you. Like, I wish I was in Houston, right? Uh, lacing it up in the morning. Actually, when you're watching this, I would be lacing it up, doing my warm up, getting ready to go, hopefully crush 26.2 miles. But it wasn't meant to be this time around, okay? And a little, a little tip. Oh, this is crazy. The little tip of the day is as far as remaining positive, through running injuries, through the niggles, through the times when you're like, wait a minute, I was so close to my goal, even though I wasn't with Houston, like there's no way I could have ran through that pain for another three and a half weeks is when I think, yeah, over three and a half, I think it was almost, yeah, three and a half weeks approximately when I decided to call it for the Houston Marathon because of the runner's knee. Therefore, tip of the day, just, and this is like really, really practical. It's not like philosophical pie in the sky. You ha and this is the, uh, the pain scale journal okay so if you have a piece of paper or maybe notes on your phone take down notes every single day whatever injury you're dealing with it could be anything you know we runners we come up with a lot of crazy injuries so take a, a journal and write the pain that you're experiencing today tomorrow the next day and then what I'm doing right now and how I'm staying positive despite not being able to race Houston right now, I'm staying positive because today in the gym, playing basketball with the boys, doing some, uh, doing some crazy, you know, playing with the boys in the house, zero on the pain scale. Where was I two and a half, basically th actually three weeks ago now, 21 days ago, I was at a seven or an eight, and unfortunately, I have to, I have to uh, take heed my own advice. I have not been writing out my pain scale. 
I need to, uh, uh, I feel like my, the vlog is part of my pain scale journal, but um, I should be writing down three weeks ago, 21 days. I was, I was a seven or an eight, and that's when I called it. I woke up and I was walking around my house 21 days ago, and I said, uh-uh, I cannot do this for another three weeks until Houston. And yeah, I'm so grateful that I called it, and I'm so grateful that I have the memory uh, to remember the pain from three weeks ago and the pain now meaning zero. All right, so that's my little take home message. It's bittersweet. Uh, it would have been fun to meet all of you in Houston, but now it's insane. Like I wish I had a little bit of a crystal ball because if I would have pushed through the pain, I don't think I would have been able to. But if I did, and if I raced Houston, how I, I almost wish I would have done it just to experience, like to see, okay, what kind of recovery time would I have needed? I think I would have been so beat up, it would have been ridiculous. So I'm not, I'm glad I called it, but um, anyway, it's just, uh, it's just, I'm so grateful now that 2020 is kind of saved. Because who knows how long I would have been out if I would have, um, if I would have pushed through the pain. All right, so I love you all. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Just a good old family day here in Denver here in the studio and onward and upward to the next goal. And uh, just so you know, I'm, I'm honing in on the next marathon. In fact, True Love and I, we almost bought plane tickets today. We're still, we'll see, which means I basically have decided what marathon I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm not, it's not quite there yet, but we're, we're honing in. We're, it's definitely not London after yesterday's vlog where we announced the Kipchoge versus Bekele battle. So it's not gonna be London. So that kind of narrows it down for all of you, but onward and upward. All right, I think that's it. Question of the day. Um, have you ever, and yeah, I'm gonna open this up. Have you ever, uh, done a pain journal. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds so. It's such a runner thing to say. Have you ever had a pain journal um, or an injury journal? That's another way. And honestly, actually, I have had one in the past. I don't have one now. Uh, or what is your other strategy for uh, tracking your progress through a running injury? Okay, like what is your? How do you do it? How do you? Tra Maybe it's just word of mouth. Maybe it's calling a best friend every day. I don't know. Let us know down in the, like, what, how do you track your injuries, okay? I love you all. No Houston Marathon, but we're going to make it. And uh, shout out again to everyone who raced through the streets of Houston today. All right, everyone, we're going to toss it back to a vlog from about nine months ago where I talk about how I strive through running injuries, how I try to remain positive, and then I'll th toss it back to my 2020 goals now that I feel like the, uh, the goals are now attainable because my health is returning. Okay, all right, everyone. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.